Hi, um, welcome to the very first episode of Building the Unity. Actually, the ship is called Eendracht, and uh, Unity seems to be the best uh, translation that I could come up with. Um, I bought the ship online, so it's already, well, more than half finished. Um, I'll show you what I bought and uh, what I think that we're going to do. Alright, so this is the original box. Um, so you can see a picture here of what it's going to be like. That's actually um, a Dutch uh, kit. I think it's from the 80s or something, so it's been around for a while. But uh, it looks quite well. Quite nice, I should say. There's also, I think, a photograph of... Uh, what the original looks like. So um, yeah, we're gonna build something like that. So it's uh, sorry, <laughs> this ship over here. So like I said, it's already half finished. Um, it's over here. Let's give you a few close-ups. So it's dusty, so it needs to uh, clean. I mean, you can see it over here. Oh, sorry, I'll put it here. See, it's uh, dirty, so I have to clean it. Perhaps uh, touch up the paintwork a little bit. Um, just look at it, it's a bit straight. Yeah, it's okay, I think. Uh, see it from the front side. Uh, probably like this, you can read the name of the ship. Also here, it's a little bit dirty. So the <coughs> the rudder is uh, lying on the deck. We have to uh, attach it later on. So yeah, so the paint works not bad. Underside is okay. I have to look it up. Uh, I have to check it out from close by to see how good it is. But I think it's alright. So my main aim for this project is to make the sails. Um, so I got some stuff with the ship, I'll show you in a minute. Um, but I think I'm gonna try and make the sails myself uh, based on some pictures that I get from somewhere. Um, the rest I don't really care about. So I'll finish the ship of course, but uh, <coughs> I won't pay too much attention to the rigging or uh, the mast and stuff like that. I'll just I think I'll just glue it in place the way it is now and uh, accept the result. So it's all about the sails. In particular, it's about the sewing. So for the Nilte Jacoba, I did all the sewing myself and well, I made sails, but uh, they are really ugly. Um, so I'd like to do a little bit better now. So make all the seams uh, be straighter. Um, there are some tassels on the sail, I think. I have to make that, figure out how to do that. So uh, a lot of stuff to do. But uh, let me uh, show you what else I got in the kit. In the box, I should say. <coughs> so there is uh, a base for it to stand on. It's actually uh, yeah, still flat, so uh, that's a good thing. Also, this part, what is it called? Spar, maybe? It's a horizontal mast. I'm sorry for the lack of nautical terms. So the owner already made it. Uh, that's a little bit ugly, but I'll probably keep it that way. It's all about the sails, remember? Um, this uh, is supposed to go somewhere. I don't know where, <laughs> I haven't uh, looked yet, so uh, at least it's pre-made. Oh, yeah, I got these things as well. I think these are called bollards. 
I think. Don't pin me down on it. Um, I will probably uh, update the paint because that's a little bit ugly. But uh, they uh, seem fine otherwise. A bit old maybe, but uh, it's okay. <coughs> um, I had some uh, cans of paint. Actually, they uh, look quite new, except for the blue on this side. So uh, let's see if they're still alive. I don't know. Mm, what else have I got? Um, some building instructions. I'll look them over, see where I am in the in the process. There's a cute little box with the sails in them. Not sure if I will use these or rather whether I'll uh, make or find my own. I don't know yet. Oh, there's also a lot of stuff in here. Uh, it contains some blocks and nails, uh, some rope, um, a flag, I think. Yeah. So, oh, hold on, something fell out. It's here. So I'll see. Uh, what this uh, will be like. Um, well, not so interesting, but there are a bunch of wooden strips. Don't think I'll need them anymore, so I'll just put them uh, with my other, let's say, um, stuff in the chest of drawers. It smells like smoke, it's dirty. So yeah, I think um, I think I'm gonna clean it, check out the plans, see which parts have already been made, um, and then I think move on to the sails as quickly as possible. The rigging is uh, pretty simple looking at the picture, so I'll have that done pretty quickly I think. So yeah, it's a nice little project. It's, uh, all right, time to get to work and see you later. All right, <coughs> I um, worked a little bit more on the, the Eendracht. So apparently the box says Sliedrecht, but the ship is named Eendracht, so Unity. Uh, I don't know which ship it is actually, but I don't care. I'm just gonna build it as it is and we'll see. But um, it seems that this kit was white labeled or something, and that you could put whatever name on it that you wanted. There's a sticker on the box that says Sliedrecht, but it's a sticker and nothing else. Anyway, I um, did some work. Uh, first of all, <coughs> you can start to see the new color scheme. Um, here at the back you can still see the original color, the dark green. So uh, yeah, I don't know about you, but the light color is much, much better. Yeah, it's much better. So, um, also this thing over here, uh, so apparently this wooden bit is uh, stained with some kind of, uh, some kind of lacquer, I think. Um, and they simply stained over this thing as well. So I cleaned it up uh, and I'm gonna paint it because it's a little bit ugly now. Uh, probably I'm going to choose some white color to offset all the dark colors down here. Um, what else did I do? Oh, yeah, I experimented with the colors on the deck. Let's see if it's visible. Yeah, right over here down there, you can see a little bit of blue. So that was the wrong color for the deck. Um, but actually behind it, I also painted another color and that seems to be the right one. I also did a small tester here at the back. Let's see if that's visible. No, no, uh, I think it's here maybe. There you can see it a little bit. Well, it's also a nice color, but uh, 
not good enough, I think. So I'm not going to repaint the deck because that's uh, a little bit too risky. I cannot, I don't think I can do it that accurately and it's not that ugly. But I might uh, paint this area because that's a bit, uh, yeah, a bit nasty. I want to make that a bit more pretty. Um, yeah, so there are some bits and pieces to be done. Here and there the paint is not so well done, so I'm gonna uh, adjust it a little bit. Also, I made a boo-boo there, see, there's uh, over here. <laughs> I don't know what I did, it was dark. <laughs> this was really, I don't know how I did that. Anyway, it happened, so I'm gonna clean that up. Um, I'm also going to paint uh, black again, because it was damaged here and there. Um, so that's a job for later. Probably I'm also going to repaint this, uh, just to make it all a little bit nicer. And these bits are also going to be some kind of color, I don't know which one yet. Because they're just plywood and they look a bit tattered right now, I don't like them. So I'm just working on the basics to uh, get it ready to fit the mast and, uh, and the sails. But uh, I really like this new color, it's so much better. So much fresher and lighter and yeah, I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna paint the other side now. Um, and then uh, tonight I'll probably uh, paint some more. It uh, requires two or three coats of paint, this green. The top one has had two layers and might be good enough, but I wanna check it out in the morning and see how well it is. And if it isn't good enough, then we're going to paint it a third time. So yeah, back to work. So I've made some progress on uh, building the scootje. Um, well, let me show it. As you see, I have now painted the entire thing. So both the green and the black has been repainted. Um, these structures have been painted the same color as the deck, or at least the approximate color of the deck. Um, I'm not sure if I can show you here on the deck. Ah, yeah. Oh, um, oh wait, that's light. Uh, Oh yeah, here you can see it. There's a little bit of a different color in the gray slash blue type. So I don't really have the right color for the deck. So I just uh, used the best one that I had and uh, have to be satisfied with it. I don't want to buy six pens of paint just to uh, match the color. It's not that important. Um, I painted uh, these things black over here and this thing is black now here um, the colors have changed here on the front this one became black uh, this one became black this one as well these feet let's call them that are also black now so uh, pretty much done with painting I think um, well, what else can I show you I am in the process of repainting these. Still have to do the sides, they will be black. Um, still have to do another coat of paint on this. The green is done. Um, there used to be copper lining here on the side. I took it off um, and I filled up all the holes so I can paint over them now. So that's um, a few more rounds of painting and then it's done. Uh, here we have what's this called? The rudder, the tiller? No, it's the rudder, I think. So I made it a little bit longer on the bottom because um, it was just a little bit shorter than the bottom of the keel and it was a weird look. So uh, this is supposed to be stuck now. It is, fortunately. So uh, I'm gonna. Uh, uh, sand it down and then uh, paint the bottom half of this black. I'm gonna do it in such a way that the green and black colors just continue in one line from the ship to the rudder. 
I painted the tiller. I think this is the tiller. I painted gold. Not sure if it was gold, but well, it felt like it. Um, <coughs> also, I uh, redid the top. So that's gonna be uh, like this later on. Uh, so I uh, did some creative artwork. Proud of it. Yeah, I like doing stuff like that. So I'm done with the last bit of paintwork. So these are the bollards. Still have to look up what they're called. So um, I have two, of course. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. They um, they look symmetrical. They're good enough. It was a little bit difficult to paint because uh, this part of the or this corner, I have to say. Uh, it was chamfered a little bit, so that makes painting a little bit more difficult. But uh, I just guessed about it, and uh, it's fine. Um, also finished the rudder. Oh. So uh, let's do it like this. You can see the the final results. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I think the only thing that I don't really like is that the bottom here hasn't really been finished that beautifully. You can see that there's a small hole here at the end. But um, yeah, I should have well, should have paid more attention to it, but I've I didn't, so uh, that's okay. I've done enough painting, kind of done with it, so uh, yeah, that's not bad this way. For a completely manual paintwork, not bad. So, um, so we're on to the next bit, I think. Um, oh yeah, I could perhaps explain. So, when I was painting the ship, I was doing several parts at the same time, and one part of the hull had um, two green layers, <laughs> uh, another had uh, one black layer, and the other part was still completely unpainted. Um, so there's this list in my head, which thing I have to paint how many times. And usually, uh, in the past I used to always uh, keep doing things in parallel, because I wanted to keep busy and minimize the amount of time I spent on whatever project I was doing. But after a while, it sort of stressed me out. There was always this list of things in my head that I had to do and try to keep, uh, let's say, order and structure in it. And I uh, didn't really like it. So these days, I always make sure that there is one point that all my projects are finished. Let's say my buffer in my head is empty. And then I move on to the next batch of stuff I have to do. So that's what I did here as well. I finished all the paintwork, didn't start anything else. Well, that's not completely true. I actually started something else and never realized that my buffer needed emptying. But um, still, it's empty now and I'm ready for the next bit. Probably I'm gonna do the masts now uh, and probably the base that it's going to be resting on. I always like experimenting with the base and trying new stuff, so figured out something new for it. But that's uh, for the next video, I think. Yeah, thanks for watching the first episode of building the Chalk or Scootje. I think I'm gonna call it Chalk from now on. It's probably easier, easier to write also in YouTube. Um, if you have any feedback or ideas, just uh, put them in the comments. Always welcome. Um, and I'll see you next time with the next video. Thanks.